Yeah, so in this week's episode of Make It With Calvin, I'm reporting to you from Yosemite National Park here in California. And today we're going to be talking about the revisions I made to my little GoPro tripod right here and why I feel it's made it an even more awesome little filming tool. So let's dig into it. Now first things first, the tripod has been modified so that it has a nice little swivel mount right here. And also right here you can see a carabiner that's running to a piece of elastic that is then running to a rock that is shoved under this rock to provide some fall protection for the camera. So obviously I'm somewhat precariously balanced up here on a rock so naturally I want something that's going to be a bit more stable than what you would have under normal circumstances. Let's take a slightly closer look at First thing that's different is the body of this has been printed in Tallman Alloy 910 Nylon Filament. The original was done in PLA and the biggest problem I had was when I was going to Maker Faire one year, I dropped one of these leaving my grandmother's old house, the leg broke, and that was the end of that tripod. So strictly for that reason I have upgraded to nylon because it's ridiculously durable and it'll handle some abuse and I don't have to worry about it. The other revision is I decided to take the top plate and modify it so it has this little ring on it, if you will, which allows me to hook it up to a carabiner. Nice to have some quarter inch elastic that's running to a carabiner inside the rock that is wrapped around another rock to provide some kind of accident protection. It's nothing perfect, but it's, it's insurance is what it is. Lastly, what I did is I just decided to mold the feet into the camera. Nylon doesn't give the best grip, but I found that TPU wasn't much better. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could probably use silicone or something like that, but it's not worth it. And the other revision is on this piece right here, I made this swivel. So the beauty of it is I can turn the camera. And now we can look over at Mirror Lake and all that beautiness. And it's very, very easy to do so. So those are some of the modifications I made to this. It's nothing super critical. It still has the steel shot inside for weight and I'm just using a quarter inch bolt that is threaded into the swivel mount. But that's pretty much the only changes that I made. It's nothing significant, but I feel it actually has made a huge difference in the overall performance of the camera rig. And personally, I think that's what really makes it worth it. So as for me, I need to now get down off this rock and meet up with my friends so we can go off and do other fun things here today. Hope you guys enjoyed and if you are interested in this, I will be linking to where you can purchase the files for this on Pinshape. Not only does it help support the channel, help support fun trips like this in which I can show off my products being used, all that good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you here next time on Make It With Calvin. <laughs>